it is nasty out today cold it's about 36 degrees i don't know what i don't know what you call this rain sleet it ain't pretty that's for sure got my new gloves without the only hole in it is to put your hand in so that's nice like $13.99 from costco called runner's gloves so $13.99 they're not the best gloves in the world but i think i expect to get a few seasons out of them and i also have the winter the real winter gloves packed away so if you're ready i'm ready let's go Decent size, well, decent size, real good size parking lot. Got a porta potty out there. Maybe 30 parking spots, picnic table, garbage cans. Doesn't say anything about the Buckeye Trail, but we know it's there because of the blue blaze. The bridal trail, that's I think we'll be uh, sharing the bridal trail as we usually do. So let's roll transform and roll out hopefully this rain doesn't create too much havoc on the camera this is getting slippery already on the bridge nice views Everything's beautiful out here except for uh, me and the weather. All right, still on the Buckeye Trail. I believe we split off of this trail fairly quickly. When I make wrong turns, it's usually right at the beginning. All right, here we go. There's our blue blaze. I'll dive down here. So this is part of the North Chagrin Reservation area. If you watched the uh, last video before our, well, actually uh, two videos ago, we were in the South Chagrin Reservation area in that long seven mile stretch that we drove that basically connects the two so they don't they don't butt up right against each other but obviously north chagrin is northern the northern reservation and south chagrin reservation is the southern reservation both part of the cleveland metro parks so it's nice and wide like you would expect with the bridal trail. Let me stop to let me stop to wipe you off here. I have the camera pointed slightly down. Because I figure you'd rather see the trail than the sky. So You shouldn't get much water on the lens. But I, I, don't know, I think we're, uh, I think the rain's actually blowing at us at the moment. So it's like swampland through here. I wouldn't say it's frozen, but it's not. It's not all liquid. It's like, uh, like a slushy you left out for about a half hour. As is the same consistency as the trail at the moment it's about 11 o'clock on Monday 27th of February and it's all there's ducks out there nature see them they don't seem to mind the cold rain 
Anyway, February 27th, Monday. Weatherman said once the rain starts, it's pretty much going to be an all day thing today. The beginning of the rain, according to the map, looks like it was going to be, you know, it wasn't, you know what, it, it looked like it was uh, going to be severe, but now that I think back at it, that wasn't severe I was looking at, it was wintery mix. So it starts with the wintery mix, which it has, it's probably started maybe 10 minutes ago. And I guess after the wintery mix is done, then we'll just have steady rain. So not ideal hiking conditions, but Mother Nature's gonna have to do a better job. We're gonna have to, Mother Nature's gonna have to throw more on us, more at us than this to keep us away. As long as you're prepared, you can pretty much handle just about everything. Quite muddy along this trail. You can see it's sort of icy. Water on top of ice, I guess you would say. So muddy, slippery. This will be quite a large uphill section we'll be doing here. And it looks like the water just travels down the trail, path of least resistance. Up, up, up we go. I did pay attention to the uh, the map before I left, but I didn't pay attention to any elevation change. Clearly there is some. Much more than what we had in the South Street Run Reservation. But it is what it is. Oh, it's still going up. So this looks to be the all-purpose trail. If I can barely see the faint green line in the middle. I don't know if you can or not. It's pretty much standard for the all-purpose trail in the Cleveland Metro Parks. A dashed green line down the middle. Man, oh man. Still going up. Looks like we have a trail that goes down there to the water. Pretty, uh, 
heavily traveled, looks like. And I don't see a sign or anything for it. Just to get to that, I guess. I'm gonna wipe you off again. Yeah, it's just steep, steep climb. I don't think the camera does it justice. I've know I've watched other people's videos where they talk about a steep climb and you're like, that doesn't look bad at all. Don't believe me. It's almost <laughs> like a 30 degree angle, maybe even more. I mean, this, we're not standing on flat ground here. And up there, it's just even steeper. Hope we can see more of the trail and not just my boots. I know when I'm climbing, I tend to lean forward as I think most people do. With the camera being strapped to my chest, well, you get a down, much more pronounced down angle view than if I was walking straight. So just a little bit ago, we were looking at that same creek down there and you can see how much higher we are now. We've climbed and we're still climbing. And it's still raining. As I'm sure you're aware. I did bring the rain jacket. Left the rain pants at home. It's not so bad that I have the rain jacket on yet. Put a nice wool sweater on. Two base layers underneath. Hands are a little cold. But I do have the winter gloves with me. If they were that bad, I would throw those on. Got a couple hand warmers. To it really gets bad, but I don't think it will. I mean, it's cold, but it's not below freezing. There's somebody way down there on the all-purpose trail with their dog. Hopefully I'm angled the right way. Probably not. I mean, it's not that exciting, but just so you know, we're not the only crazy person out here. So yeah, the hill was pretty brutal, but looks like we're on top of the mountain. So I mean, there's a little slight elevation change to where I'm at now, but. No more steep climbs. I drove past her earlier at the parking lot at least. I did a little a couple videos from now there'll be some driving sections like a seven mile. Seven miles of the Buckeye Trail is all along the road, so if you see
seen any of my videos before, we just drive that and film it that way. But I drove past this parking lot we parked at and it was light drizzle, but, and I think everybody knows the rain's coming. Parking lot was very, very busy. So it seems to be a popular spot. Yeah, we're still going up, but not too, not too much of an angle. Just enough where you feel it, you know? Could it be a downhill section coming up? Like I said earlier, it's only about a mile and a quarter to our next parking lot which is ab williams i call it ap williams parking lot but it's ab williams memorial park or ab williams memorial forest something like that so that's where we stop judging from the map it's like a pretty well developed place they got a baseball field Right where we'll be ending, I believe. Restrooms. Now, I don't know if that's a hole in the ground with a toilet on top of it or full service bathroom attendant. All I know is the map shows that there's restrooms. I can't imagine we're too far away. We've been going for a little while, haven't we? weatherman also said that there'd be 40 mile an hour wind gusts today and honestly I haven't really noticed the wind at all I mean there's some slight wind you could see the rain coming in at an angle in some places but 40 mile an hour gusts we would definitely be noticing that Where's that blue blaze? Are we still on the trail? There's one way off in the distance. Still on track. Let me give you 
be a quick cleaning. So yeah, I've never been out here before. Oh, here comes a whole, whole group of people, man. Morning. Morning. Hi. Hi. Morning. 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 So far, that's a record. We've never seen that many people on one group on our adventures. I give him credit being out here in this. Point eight miles away. Okay, so we are. Uh, now we're almost still half a mile away from where we want to be. Of course, that's probably, no. That's along the horse trail, because that's what we're on. Well, I guess we're moving slower than I thought we were. Nice little creek here. It's not our first water crossing. Um, we are supposed to cross Foster's Run. I don't know if that was it, or... We have yet to get there. Foster's like that Australian beer. I don't know if they're even still around. I'm not a beer man, I'm more of a liquor guy. You still make Foster's beer? Leave a comment in the down below. There's plenty of room. I used to come in those humongous cans. They say Foster's, Australian for beer. That's not, a, that's like a, that's the wrong accent, but hey, what do you want? That was like a Scottish accent. That'd be the Guinness, that's the Guinness guy, not the Foster's guy. Did you know that the Guinness World Records and the Guinness Beer, they're basically the same, same company? I think it makes sense after you hear it, but I never thought, never put the two together until I heard it from somebody. So you can see out there, I don't know if it's a field or just a road, but definitely a, a clearing over there. I'm glad I brought the boots today. This is not a tennis shoe day. Oh, look at that. Did you see him? Man, Squirrely got pretty close that time. He was, I don't think he saw us. He was out for a, a rainy stroll.
Yeah, I think the sleet has ended. Now we're just in the rain now. Big old fat rain. Oh well, could be worse. Could be baseball sized hail. We are not dressed for that. You need a suit of armor for that stuff. Probably knock you out if it hits you in the head. Now this is probably Foster's, Foster's run. This is much more significant water than it was earlier, than, than we saw earlier. Unless it was that first little stream we saw. Nature. Yeah, there's no chance of avoiding the mud on this hike. Unless you don't even go. That's okay. You see some horse tracks here and there, so. It does get used. I don't know what percentage of the population owns a horse, but. It's got to be more than you think with all the bridle trails around. You probably want to get your horse out here and walk them around, right? Keep them in shape, I suppose. Horse owners, you ever just you gallop through down these bridle trails like Paul Revere? Or is that against the unwritten rules? Got your lantern out front galloping like you're in a hurry to save somebody's life. I don't see any speed limit signs out here. If you're on a horse, you probably gotta probably gotta run them fast once in a while, right? You don't want a couch potato. All right, straight ahead, I see some sort of structure. I can't tell if they're buildings or cars. It's hard to judge how far away it is. So maybe that's our ending point? I don't know. Guess we'll find out shortly. Looks like we're headed that way. Yeah, car up there, a blue car. Most popular car colors in the United States, white and black. So if you have a blue car, congratulations. You're, you're going against the norm. So yeah, that's got to be our spot. So it's a, well, it looks like we got a trail that goes straight to the parking lot, actually. I was going to say we're going to go left. 
Buckeye's Trail continues on that way. We're gonna go this way to the parking lot. Oh, holy smokes, look at all these squirrels. One, two, three. Like they were having a meeting of the mines. Do they do that? Have a big squirrel meeting in the woods? You know, you see two playing. Oh, there's another one. Man, it's like squirrel, squirrel kingdom over here. Well, this person's car is on. Probably scared the hell out of them walking out of the woods. Oh well. All right, so here it is. Ton of parking, as you can see. Got your restrooms. Got your pavilion out there. God, you even got more parking across the way over there. But yeah, I assume you'd find a parking spot here. Like I said, this is A.B. Williams a Memorial something. I'll list it below. Somebody's down under that pavilion. Shelter, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, it's a huge, huge area. And in fact, now that I think about it, I think I've been here before. I've never went the, the way we went. I always gone north from here. A.B. Williams Memorial. It's, it's just called that, I guess. A.B. Williams Memorial Trailhead. That's probably where we're at. Above our trail, blue, probably. Yep. Goes up there. There's our. There's where we'll stop the next video. Horse trailer parking. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're still awake and you did. Give it a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss the next one, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Smell you later.